I will leave you with one quick final thought in honor of Tiger at the Masters. The first time I ever had my friend Lil Wayne on TV with me was on ESPN way back in the day. I'm not even sure what year it was. 2007 or 8 maybe. And to his credit, he showed up early and attended our pre-show meeting. And we're kicking around the possible debate topics for the day. And I'm not sure why this was on the docket, but it was. And it was, what's the greatest day in sports annually? What's the greatest day in sports? And I didn't know Wayne much at all at that point. And I pretty casually shot across the table. To me, it's Master Sunday. Greatest day in sports every year is Master Sunday. And he looked at me and said, you, you are out of your effing mind. Master Sunday? I said, you got to understand, it's, it's really not even to do with golf. It's just that no sports event I know as a viewer and a sports addict, no sports event delivers the consistent drama than Master Sunday does. Obviously, it's a four-day event, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. And it's because that golf course, it's the most beautiful place in the world to start with, but it is flat out creepy because those pines are towering. You, on TV, you can't get just how eerie and creepy it is because they reach into the heavens like Jack and the Beanstalk. And it gets quiet down there around what is called Amen Corner. And you better say your prayers before you venture into Amen Corner because that golf course will devour leaders on Sunday. Once did a magazine piece on Augusta National and Ben Crenshaw called it a mystical cathedral. That's what it is down there among those pines, especially on a Sunday afternoon. It's the wildest ride in sports because it is so high risk, high reward. It's, it's the tee shot over Ray's Creek on the par 3 12th. It's, it's just the scary shot in golf. It, it's actually the scariest moment consistently year after year in sports. It's just the scariest moment because the wind is just completely unpredictable. It swirls among the pines. You think it's with you and it's against you, and all of a sudden you get just a breath of wind at, just as you strike the golf ball, and it hangs, and it hangs, and it hits the bank, and it rolls back into the water. I've seen it again and again and again. I mean, you see guys just heave sighs of relief just to get it on the putting surface, or just to get it in the sand, just, just hit it in the sand trap, you know, in the, the greenside bunkers. And then you got a second shot over water on the par 513 and another second shot over water that's even longer on the par 515th. And you have that closing tee shot through those towering pines. It's like trying to hit a golf ball through a keyhole. If, if you're there and you could see it, like I've been there so many times, I've walked the golf course a hundred times. I think I covered around 30 masters. Don't do it anymore, but I did it enough to know. Double bogeys are lurking around every corner, as in Amen Corner. And remember, golf is the, the greatest pressure test in sports to me, especially at the highest level, because the ball doesn't move until you move. There's no reaction in golf. Like, you know, obviously, you're not reacting to a baseball pitch or a football pass or a basketball pass or somebody attacking you where you try to defend them off the dribble or you're not attacking somebody who will try to block your shot. It's just you and that little tiny ball and that little tiny hole and it does not move until you move. With your hand shaking and your stomach jumping, heck on my little level just playing for a dollar, it gets scary enough, but there, 
on that golf course. And remember, it, it's, it's the only major that the venue never changes. I, I get you, it, Augusta with its racist history and its boys club history, and I, I, I know all about it. I got that. Still the greatest golf course in the world. They're blessed to have it. The great Bobby Jones created it on what used to be an exotic nursery. That's why it's such a beautiful piece of land and, and landscape. And it's just, it's stunningly scary. And it, there's something about the dynamic of it that produces the greatest drama year after year after year after year. It transcends the Super Bowl drama or Game 7 drama in the NBA or in the World Series. And in the end, guess who has attended the Masters the last two years? Has flown there, bought the ticket, bought the t-shirt, and attended the Masters, and walked those fairways among those towering pines. My friend, Lil Wayne, And guess who's going to be there this weekend? In part because of Tiger, but just in larger part because he's addicted to going to Augusta and attending the Masters. My friend Lil Wayne. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.